my goal of making this film is to reach the people and to show that the film everywhere, every person, every house, every country, and uh, to, to make change. So I wanted to share my story. I did this film. I spent seven years of making this film, creating this film. This is the story of my life, my village life, my family, my friends. And I thought that we have to tell our stories before others hijack them. So this is about the, the human and the human story. It's not just about violence or politician or political issue. So this is the first time that I, I felt and I feel this is the first time that the people outside in Europe or in America or everywhere, they can really understand and know the story of Palestine, the life of Pal the Palestinians, the pressures of the, the army and the occupation. I did this because I'm related to my home, I'm related to my place, to my land, to my families. And this is what's my responsibility to take part of the resistance with my camera to make this film because I know this the, the, the documentary and the camera is very strong witness and very strong way to 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 open the mind of the people. Camera. <laughs> في مرة إجى مهندس إسرائيلي عمل كيس الكيسات عشان يبنوا جدار فاصل وسط أرضنا. <تصفيق> هذا اليوم انكسرت كاميرا الأولى بقنبلة غاز. أنا بصير إشي في القرية. على طول بحس اني لازم اصور How did you manage to get a camera and shoot for seven years and make a film that is award winning? Yeah, I, my, I don't have really a, a filmmaker background but I know that many filmmakers they came to uh, they come to make films in Palestine about our stories, our uh, about Palestine, and I I was there. I live there. I live in my village. I live the experience, and I feel how the life there. So nobody come from outside can feel the same feeling and live the same experience. I put my life in this situation. I face the risks. So people who come to make films or to shoot for a TV or a, a media, they, they never face the, the risk or they never put their life at, in this situation. So because I'm related to my land and to my story and it's my story, so I was filming and I wanted to, 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 sh to, to, uh, to take this way, the camera and the, the film way, to reach the people and to open the mind of the people, as I said before, because I know this way is very effective. I know there's many kind, many ways of the resistance. So people choose the, everybody choose his way. And I choose my way with my camera because the education side is very, uh, very powerful and very, very strong and very important. So I thought that of making this film, and of making another films, we can open the mind of the people and tell them more about our life and the truth and the reality. So for that, I made this film. I made this film from my personal perspective, from my point of view, through my experience, because I feel that. I feel that in my heart, in my mind. So my goal is was to, to make this film. So I was looking for uh, the change in this side, the change to change the the, the life and the for the, the the next generation, for my sons, for my kids, to to make a good future for them. Bilain is not a very big town. It's about 1,900 people live there, and people uh, because we are connected and related to our trees and to our land, so we love our lands and we call ourselves farmers. So everybody is farmer in Palestine because we farm our field 
and we use it for uh, the house, not for uh, for sales or uh, because there's not enough land or there's no uh, the problem of the water. So, and we lost most of the land and the uh, many trees been destroyed, olive trees. So we cannot survive just of farming uh, the land. So we farm our land and we are related to this land we are because we love it so we call us our uh, ourselves farmers but in the same time everyone have uh, different uh, work or different job to do to survive before 2000 i was doing another work i was doing gardens gardens, gardens yeah this is gardens palestinian garden or the other side the other side garden yeah, so it was open and uh, we could go and work because, you know, the, there's many pressures on the Palestinian people. So they make uh, our life it's difficult every day and so it's getting worse. So we try to, to find a way to, to survive and to find job. There's many people who don't have job. So we, but we are also families, big families. So when people need help, the family help him. I decided to film because uh, I thought that this is my part of the resistance in the village. I wanted to be part and to take my part with my camera because I thought the camera is very strong witness and very it's a strong weapon. So the camera was my weapon and I wanted to use this weapon to film and to capture and to follow the action and to show the world. So I started doing this film in 2005 because I, I thought that the many filmmakers came to the village and they were asking me for uh, help and to give them footage. So they, are doing, uh, they were doing uh, films about uh, our stories. So the, the, the idea came to, to make my film from one of my friends. He told me, we live here and you are uh, filming here and this is uh, our life. So you should make this film. So I started uh, since uh, the beginning of 2005, focusing and following my friends, my son growing up. Yeah. And I, in the end, I did this film. <laughs> كتالا يا ابو محمد ما فيش يلجم ارض هنا جوا جدار ولا لا ولا شيء ما فيش كتبرش تسوي زي هذا راح يمكن في بنا انا بعرف انهم بجوج يدقوا على بابي في اي دقيقه بصراحه اضل اصور هذا بيساعدني اني اواجه الحياه واضل عايش and i spent my time in the day in the night there in the village so I spent all most of my time outside the house filming because in this first two or three years it was more uh, difficult the situation in the village and more uh, strong. So the army come in the day, in the night, they come to arrest some kids. So I've been filming always. So uh, my wife was worried about me and she was telling me always why you don't stop filming because I put my life in a situation and I, my camera has been destroyed and uh, been shot and I was arrested. I was far from the family and I was arrested also. I, they put me in jail and house arrest outside the village. As you see the film, I never hide. Why I need to hide? I have to be on the front line. I have to be close to the soldiers and close to the action to capture and to, to document everything. So I, for that, I, I put my life uh, in uh, at risk uh, situation always. And I lost five cameras. And some of these cameras been shot twice. And I been shot myself, my body. I been injured uh, many times. So because I was there, always there. I was there because this is my story and my village and my struggle. It's not just about filming or about making film. It's more about the life and the change and the story for me. So if that, if you, uh, if you are a filmmaker and you go to make films, so you are not related to the place with your mind and your, your heart. So you just, you want to finish the shooting and to finish the film and you go back home. 
but I related to this place. I wanted to be there, in the middle of the, the, the action. So does the does ever the soldier say, put down your camera, what do you do? Put down your camera, stop shooting now. I never stop. When they destroy my camera, I get another camera, I buy another camera and I continue. <laughs> من أصور الكاميرا بتعطيني إحساس بأني محمي بس هذه أوكام